there are two experiences I've had in the studio that um to me like every time I think about it I'm back there and the feeling is amazing it was my first time recording with Fever Corporation when I went to DC and um, when I was making my own record which is um going to be released so when I went to um DC it was this beautiful studio that had character it had a fireplace it was in the middle of the winter and all we did was have conversations and create and it was beautiful it was just amazing to be around that type of energy and everything came into the studio to us we wanted food food came we never left we just stayed there and we recorded that was me eric and um or engineer and producer jamal then when i was making my own record i was in the middle of touring so on my days off i'd fly to la to be with the guys big up the smile guys um ruben and louis they're the producers for my record that's going to come out called ignorance i'd fly to be um to la to record with them we all slept and stayed in the same house and all we did was make music and we the approach that we had to it was like okay so this is what we're going to do for this record everything that you fucking know throw it out the window we're going to do exactly what we feel whenever we feel it even if it doesn't make sense that's what we're going to do so if i want to spit for like eight bars right there and you guys do the rest then you do that if i want to do spoken words right there that's what i'm going to do if i want to sing right there that's what i'm going to do we just going to fucking do it if we want to switch the flow 10 fucking times in one song that's what we're going to do and it was beautiful it was an amazing experience we get to bond and we never slept i don't know how we did it and all we did was um make music so those two experiences um stood out to me the most yeah it's interesting all that song um roadblock was created we were in the studio and we were listening that's roadblock on fever's record so we're listening to a bunch of stuff and we we're having conversations sharing culture so the 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 engineer he's from italy um eric is from dc i'm from jamaica so we were all talking about cultural differences and stuff like that and i don't remember exactly how it came up but i was explaining to them the idea of what a roadblock is in jamaica is like when you come upon a, a police what do you guys call it here i don't even know it's like the police um thing where you go through a checkpoint a police <laughs> checkpoint right and what how intense that was and how it's a whole cultural experience in Jamaica as intense and as crazy and as serious as it is it's a whole thing that so many um cultural uh things came out of you know what i mean and we were talking about that and we were laughing at some of the dark kind of humor surrounding that and um that's how the song um came about No, by COVID the record was already done. It's so crazy because um I did the, I, I did the record um oh damn I'm I'm so like out of it. I don't know what date it is and shit like that. I know we're in 2021. <laughs> but we we completed the record before on the heel of 20 the ending of 2019. So the record was done. But it's so crazy because so much of it is so relatable to what's happening. You know what I mean? It, it, it's intense. I think um, when we're so tapped in and we're we're tapped into feeling um, everything that's around us, it, it's almost prophetic in a way. As creatives, we become a little bit prophetic. So we know of songs um, from way back when that we're astounded that it will predict certain things. It's the same thing um, when you get really tapped into that space and create but it was way before covid but there are a lot of things in it that's relatable to a lot of that's going on or has been going on i just wanted to be known that to go along with my record i'm doing art so i'm a visual artist i'm a recording artist and i've always wanted to fuse those two things together and i think i finally figured out how to do that now so the visual arts part is a visual further expression of what the the musical part is. So that's something beautiful that's going to look um I'm looking forward to to have this huge launch with music and art everywhere and give everybody a full experience both visually and musically. So I'm excited about that.